All verse rising soul family, all verse rising soul. Let me tell you something. This is going to be a strong unk life melanated topic that a lot of melanated people out in the Western societies that don't know who they are need to know. You see, last names came from the European slave owners that was forced upon a lot of melanated skinned people to oppress the melanated skinned people to not know their true identity being connected with the fatherland and motherland of father and mother nature of unk life to be connected with the multiverse because unk life is melanated excellence of intuitional intelligent spirituality so there's a lot of melanated skin people that grew up in the western society countries like usa and canada and they be having last names like loader dorsey davis ashley kaepernick you know what i'm saying brady clay like all these, all these European slave owner last names that a lot of melanated skinned people have out in Western societies like USA, it really damages their identity and damages their melanated spirituality. And a lot of melanated skinned people that grew up in the Western slave owner societies like USA don't even know that the last names that themselves and other melanated family members who grew up out in the western slave owner societies like usa don't even know that the european last names that they had came from slavery you feel what i'm saying because like look man no melanated skinned person should want to be called by their last name you know how the european slave owner usa court systems always call a lot of melanated skinned people in general by their last name which is disrespectful man and a lot of these European slave owners, they created the court systems and created all these European slave systems to always damage a lot of melanated skinned people. Because let me tell you something, me, I always hated being called by my fucking European last names. That that that, that was forced upon my melanated family members who grew up out in the Western slave owner societies that didn't know their true nationalities. You feel what I'm saying? Like I didn't like it, man. You know what I'm saying? And like my name, my cosmic name, my melanated name, my melanated name, my melanated name. For those spiritual beings that have connected with me, even the spiritual beings that have never met me in person. You all know that my name is Jules Unisouls connected with the Unimines, Unihearts and Unisouls of the melanated multiverse. Right? Now, I'll tell you this, man, you know, man, oh, man, man, oh, man, oh, man. You know, melanated skinned people that grew up in the African countries and Caribbean countries, they didn't have to suffer having European slave owner last names. They didn't have to suffer that, man. Only the melanated skinned people that was forced to grow up in the Western slave owner societies had to suffer with the damn European last names. And I'll tell you this, every melanated skinned person that grew up in the, every melanated skinned person that grew up in the Western slave owner European societies like USA and Canada, for example, man, bro, change your name, change your name, man, because that name that you was given at birth, those were European slave owner names. You know what I'm saying? Because every melanated skinned person that grew up in the Western slave owned society have European names. These are all facts, man. Like, this shit is sad, man. Like, these European slave owners, man, they're they going to they gonna, they gonna have a lot of universal law karma coming to their evil asses for making, for forcing melanated skinned people to have European last names like Loader, Dorsey, Davis, Ashley Kaepernick, you know, Brady. All these, all, all these slave owner European names that melanated skinned people are not supposed to be having. Christopher, that's a fucking European name. Like seriously, like none of my melanated, none of my melanated brothers and melanated sisters supposed to be having melanated lad. They're not supposed to be having, and I repeat this: a lot of my melanated brothers and melanated sisters are not supposed to have European last names. Because look, man, animals don't have last names. You know, when melanated skinned people on planet Earth that grew, that grew up 
in the African and Caribbean countries, they didn't have European last names. They just had a full name. They just had a full name like Olawandu, Kowandu, Kowanda, all that shit. All these African melanated names of the Caribbeans or in, in every set of melanated lands. Like, think about this. Think about that. Like, come on, man. You know, the way I found out my melanated name, it took me, it took me to get my unk life symbol. It took me to get my unk spiritual symbol to find out my melanated name, which is connected with the unimines, unihearts, unisouls of intuitional intelligence of logical and emotional intelligence. So my name the full name that I have is Jules Unimines Unihars Unisouls. You feel me? Because I am a jewel of an all seeing my heart, soul, eye, brain that connects with every soulful vibrational jewel, emerald gem of, a, of soul beings in this multiverse from universe one to universe two to universe 555, et cetera, infinity, angel number universes in this multiverse. You know what I'm saying? And like things like this, man, you know, me not calling myself, me not calling myself a Loader or a Davis or a Howard or a Brady, you know, not me not claiming myself as any European last names. You know, that's the reason why I don't really talk to too many of melanated family members that grew up in the Western societies that don't know who they are. Because they're not connected with the uncle spiritual essence. You feel what I'm saying? Because every melanated skinned person has a melanated name. When they when they actually tap in to go connect with the fatherland, the motherland of planet Earth, to be connected with the uncle life symbol to find out their true their true name. You feel me? Like so that's all I gotta say, man. That's all I gotta say about this.